Well, more than a year and a half after three men were found tied up, gagged, and shot to death in Summit County, a jury convicted a man for the murders. Thank you for watching us here on this Friday night. I'm Damon Maloney. And I'm Tessa Tiro in for Katie Houston tonight. Today, 12 jurors reached a verdict finding Elias Godino guilty on all counts. News 5's Bob Jones covered the brutal crimes in 2023 and has reaction to the jury's decision. There was little reaction from Elias Godino as the judge announced the jury's verdict, guilty on all counts, including aggravated murder. The jury has found you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of all of the charges and all of the gun specifications in this case. It was the outcome prosecutors expected in a case that stunned neighborhoods in West Akron and Copley. This was a difficult case, horrific case, an execution of three innocent victims, um, but pleased with the verdict and uh, all the work of the Akron and Copley Police Departments in putting this case together. Summit County Prosecutor Elliot Kolkovich says in March of 2023, Godino and an unidentified masked man kidnapped four men from a Youngstown home. They were transported to Summit County. The bodies of Inmar Reyes and Victor Varela Rodriguez were found off Cordova Avenue in Akron and the body of Domingo Castillo Reyes was discovered just off White Road in Copley. All three were tied up, gagged, and shot in the head. How does anybody enter the mind of someone who can go about their day kidnapping, duct taping four people with the intent to execute four people? It's really impossible to wrap your mind around. The fourth man, Oscar Mejia Gomez, survived after a bullet grazed his head. He testified and through a Spanish translator, identified Godino as the gunman. <laughs> He told us he was going to kill us. Kolkovich says the survivor's testimony was the key to the case. When you look back on it, the grace of God that he survived and was able to put this case together, and that's what allowed the police departments to then further the investigation and, and convict this defendant. Godino's attorney, John Grevin, argued Godino was under duress from the Mexican drug cartel during the crimes. But he also believes Godino's changing stories to police gave the jury doubt. And the problem was uh, Mr. Godino came up with one story, he then changed it and changed it, and ultimately he came out with a fourth story. Prosecutors say Godino became jealous when his wife left him for another man, and then he targeted and killed that man's friends. A deeply disturbing case for everyone involved. I mean, you don't find many dead bodies in Copley, and then I even talked about that with the detective when he was testifying. Well, clearly it's a tragedy no matter how you slice it. Um, but the jury has returned their verdict and you have to respect it. Up next, Elias Godino will be sentenced on December 18th. It's not clear if the victims' families who are from Honduras will be here to make statements. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.